Some movies are just so downright disturbing, uncomfortable or depressing that a second viewing is just out of the question. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, where today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 British movies you'll only ever watch once. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're paying homage to the great British movies that, despite their greatness, will never be the type of film you watch over and over and over again. Number 10. 12 Years a Slave It might not seem like your typical British movie, but with a British director and lead actor, 12 Years a Slave has UK influence throughout. My back is thick with scars for protesting my <laughs> freedom. Do not accuse me. Set in the antebellum South in America, Steve McQueen's adaptation of the memoirs of Solomon Northup, a free man who's kidnapped and enslaved, takes a harrowing look at slavery in the late 19th century. Come on now, clap your hands. The importance of the film is without question, as it charts an especially horrible period in human history. But as such, cinema rarely gets this heavy. Packed with gruelling long takes too, including an almost three minute hanging scene, it's a must watch movie, but you might not rush to see it again. An unspeakable happiness to see my wife. Number 9. A Clockwork Orange As one of the first movies to ever be pulled from cinemas after inspiring real life copycat violence, A Clockwork Orange is a masterpiece in harrowing film, brought to life by legendary director Stanley Kubrick. <laughs> The film tells the story of Alex DeLarge, a teenage delinquent with a taste for rape, ultraviolence, and Beethoven. Stop it! Stop it! Please! I beg you! It's a sin! It's a sin! And so, as Alex gets arrested and goes through an experimental procedure to pacify him, we wait and watch in horror as his eyelids are pulled back and he, and therefore we, are forced to watch a stream of all the world's most violent acts. Feel good summer blockbuster? This definitely is not. I've taught you much, my little droogies. Now tell me what you had in mind, Georgie boy. Number 8. Hellraiser This classic 80s horror film is about as disturbing as it gets, telling the convoluted story of a recently resurrected man feeding on humans to live. His blood on the floor, it brought me back. And while the central figure strives to survive, a group of demons known as Cenobites try to drag him back into a sadomasochistic underworld. Twisted enough for you, yet? Frank. No. The iconic nature of this film comes from the lead Cenobite, Pinhead, who's perhaps surprisingly well spoken for a demon devoted to experimental SM. But all in all, once is probably enough. We'll tear your soul apart. Number 7. Nil by Mouth Another heavy movie without even an inkling of hope, fun or lightheartedness to speak of, Nil by Mouth is the gritty realistic story of an abusive husband and the family who suffer by his hand. Starring English hardman Ray Winston as Raymond, an alcoholic with a half-trigger temper, the film follows him and his dysfunctional family as they struggle with drug addiction, domestic violence, and divorce. Coming home. We ain't got a f***ing home to go back to, Ray. It also has the honour of using the C-word more than any other movie in history, with 82 uses. So, if swear words offend you, you might not even make it to the end. What's the matter? Ray? Number 6. Straw Dogs Educated American David Sumner, played by Dustin Hoffman, moves to a sleepy English village with his wife, but his dream soon turns into a nightmare when a group of xenophobic locals turn violent. I will not allow violence against this house. Straw Dogs is probably best known for its harrowing ending and a horrific rape scene, which shocked audiences so much the film got banned in the UK and had to be heavily edited before being released in the US. On top of everything else, it did absolutely nothing for the popularity of bagpipe music. No sir. <laughs> Number 5. Tyrannosaur British actor Paddy Considine's directorial debut Tyrannosaur is very, very far from the safe and easy crowd pleaser that Considine could have gone for. Are you alright in there? Are you hiding from somebody? 
Peter Mullen and Olivia Colman star in this kitchen sink drama about a racist, vicious thug who meets a religious charity shop worker, and as the two grow close, a pattern of domestic abuse and violence develops. I'll talk to you later. I haven't done anything. It's not like that. The relentless, increasing depravity of the crimes committed and the no holds barred scenes inflicted upon us leave you almost screaming at the screen, begging for it to stop. You don't know what that bastard did to me! <laughs> Number 4. The Boy in the Striped Pajamas this may be a gentler film which could even be considered bittersweet at times, but that just makes it all the more disturbing when you consider what is really going on. Well, little man, what are you waiting for? The Boy in the Striped Pajamas is told from the point of view of eight-year-old Bruno, a German boy whose family moved next door to a concentration camp. I know. Perhaps you can come and have supper with us sometime. I can't, can I? Because of this. When Bruno finds the camp, he makes friends with a young Jewish prisoner. They play, laugh, and joke through the barbed wire. But it's the ever-present plume of smoke rising from the camp that makes this story all the more disturbing. Number 3. Shame Centred on a sex addict whose vicious addiction to prostitutes and pornography threatens to consume his life, Shame is another from Steve McQueen, and a definitive move from Michael Fassbender. Try not talking. Try just listening or thinking for a change. Fassbender plays Brandon with such brutal realism and, yes, shame, that we can't help but feel pity for his desperate, self-loathing character, as his errant soul is tested over and over again. <gasps> The frank scenes of depression, sexual violence, and self-harm are an eye-opening constant, and with explicit nudity, it is definitely not one to watch with the parents either. Get the f*** out! Get out! Number 2. Scum The second Ray Winston film to feature today, Scum is a 1979 drama about the brutality of life inside a British borstal. I'm the daddy now! Next time I'll f Kill ya. Winston plays Carlin, a young man who tries to avoid a life of violence, but inevitably gets drawn into the thick of it when he takes the rap for his brother's crimes. Back, Ross! I said, get back, shithead! Before long, Carlin himself becomes embroiled in an everyday cycle of torture, racism, and rape as his character is chipped and dismantled. The violence here is so graphic that the film was once pulled from British TV, and even fans of Winston's typical hard man outings might hesitate on a rerun of this. You all get your perks, but I'm the daddy. Right! Number 1. Threads Originally made in 1984 by the BBC as a docudrama about the realities of nuclear war, Threads could easily double as a hard-hitting horror movie, thanks to its gruesome and terrifying scenes. <laughs> It's arguably one of the bleakest, most upsetting, and most frightening films ever made, following residents of Sheffield as their lives are destroyed by a nuclear war between the US and Russia. Oh my god. Threads proved extremely poignant and distressing upon release at the height of the Cold War, but with little sign of global powers relinquishing their nukes anytime soon, it seems just as relevant today. Jesus Christ, the dummy. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.